Hi everybody, I just thought I would go through a few things to prepare for the winter period. There's definitely a transition of, of work that changes over from your regulars to being more from your fortnightly servicing with your mowing to going to your monthly mowing and just see how important it is to transition that appropriately because what you can find is over that transition period when, when your lawns are starting to taper off and the growth is going a bit dormant you'll have certain places starting to drop off which might go from fortnightly to monthly um, and then it's a challenge a little bit of a challenge working out how to fill those future weeks um, in making sure you've got the cash flow that continues over that period so so what I found myself is I've been trying to save up a lot of my my mulching and gardening work or your gardening once off whereas over the summer and, and spring periods you'll really focus on trying to get as many my regular jobs as you can um, you know your hedging jobs and that sort of thing but I guess your bread and butter really is your, your regular mowing work and particularly over the month to month or sorry in the winter period a lot of that stuff does go to monthly you'll even find if you might be doing hedge work monthly that might even taper off to two months and your customers won't have that requirement so you've got to start considering other opportunities for work so it is potentially good to um, save up some jobs you might have some mulching that you need to do you might be doing some fertilizing of, of gardens or sorry of lawns to continue I guess getting a few extra weeks of work out of those those lawns you might do weed treatments um, for clover and different things like that for your general weeds so if it does go to to monthly servicing you can provide other services to those customers so at least you can keep some sort of fortnightly schedule or top off your wage um, top up your um, income through one-off sort of jobs like your, your garden cleanups so what I found um, is just an opportunity to provide more value for your customers so if once that work tapers off you might do pressure cleaning you might do gutter cleaning I went and bought myself a pressure cleaner and it pretty much paid it for itself within the first couple of jobs so it's a really good avenue to make some extra income um, it could be gutter clean that could be another option that you could look at so to give you a couple of the examples of, of things that I've done for my customers that are pretty regular through through the, the growth periods I've got a customer that I do um, a lot of their, their hedging jobs pretty much fortnightly and so almost it felt overnight a lot of those hedges which would normally take me two or three hours of work just stopped growing so I had weeks of no growth and the other the way that I could provide value to that customer was to look at things like um, you know trimming trees back um, going and weeding the gardens out trimming different areas and different plants that they had their back um, in their garden so just providing a different service that they um, that would give them value um, and also keep income coming into my bank account over that time because I found you know realistically I could have gone and left those hedges for a couple of months and come back without too much growth but um, especially when you've got customers that are willing to provide you extra income you've got to maximize that opportunity to go and do that um, and definitely um, keep them keen and also provide a good service so I mentioned in my last video about how winter you know I just kept it ticking over I have have gone into this business as a lifestyle business I'm not wanting to work seven days a week the whole purpose of me getting out of a, a corporate role was to have more time with family and not push myself to, to the, work myself to the bone and then and then have nothing left to come home and and give back to my family so winter winter for me was really about taking a bit of time out because we had such a brutal summer and spring period even though income was was definitely inhibited by all the the, the rain and the flooding that we had over that time um, coming into this period I did want to take some time out as much as I could so it's it's great because you transition from a this really full-on regular customer with doing mowing and then you actually find because you're doing more gardening work and more cleanup work you can make more money at the time you're at each location so instead of doing you know eight to ten lawns a day you might only be doing two or three jobs a day that mix as a mixture of, of mowing and a bit of gardening or a bit of mulching um, so you find you get actually more income in some cases in certain cases than you would in the normal period anyway so there's definitely the opportunity to to make more money through winter focusing on the garden cleanup so for me I set my leads to um, to local. I've tried to bring my um, my suburbs in quite tight as I'm building my business. 
um, and I just focused on changing my leads to accepting gardening once off jobs as well as gutter cleaning and, and different items like that. So, uh, so when I went through the summer periods, it was very much focused on um, my regulars. So that would be pretty much all I'd have on my leads. But now definitely coming into this period, I switched over to garden once offs. I definitely could have got a lot more work, but I really chose not to. If you're gonna go for all areas and you've got a huge amount of suburbs that you wanna put into that, there's definitely gonna be way more work. And, and especially with the gym system, there's heaps of work to get you through in winter time. Um, but particularly, I, as I mentioned in my, last, in my last video, I would have hoped to have had 70 or 80 customers just to really putt along through this period and continue that cash flow and get a few garden. Um, once off jobs to, to keep up my cash um, reserves over that period and make the same income or even more than what I was previously. But again, take this opportunity to um, relax and, um, and have some time with the family. This is a good time of year to go and have a bit of a holiday. Great time of year on the, on the East Coast to, to go for a holiday through the winter period and um, you know, enjoy the surfing, and enjoy fishing and all that sort of thing and take this time to recharge because once you get to that, that spring and summer period, everything's hectic again and you've got, um, you know, it's you can't get sort of left behind in that period. You've really got to keep on top of it because if you have a few weeks off or a week off, the grass is going to be a lot longer than it is at this time of year. So you can generally get a, a week or a couple of weeks off for sure. Um, you probably could push it out a bit more. I guess the good thing is when you come back, it's not going to be as hectic as if you leave it for that few weeks in that growth period. So. So, so, so when it can be very profitable, I've found, as I said, that um, you know you can make a lot more money in winter time just doing on, the, on focusing on the garden cleanups, and and also you can take a bit of time out and um, have a sleep in in the morning, you know, work, have a have a have a day off a week if you want to, or even work out that way if you want to take a bit, a bit extra time off. That's also a good option option to look at. I know that when I came into this first winter period, I was actually a little bit anxious about the work tapering off, but I have found that it's been easy to keep that work consistent and continue to maintain that cash flow. So don't let it get you too stressed, um, especially when you're within the gym system, you've got the ability to turn on those leads. Um, you've got people that can help you out. You've got franchisees and a franchise or you can, you can um, you know, liaise with and get some good information and hopefully share some work with. I know. There's jobs that come up that some people can't do and they pass them on between the gym's network. So that's also really beneficial. But you're never gonna be without work in the gym system. And that's what you pay for. You pay for those quality of leads and you pay for that quality of work and also that support network as well. So don't be concerned about the winter period. You will still make great money. And um, you know, but for me particularly, that's that's not my, my number one. My number one was to have a lifestyle business and not work myself into the ground. So great opportunity to take some time out and enjoy yourself as well. I'll talk to you again soon.